Hi folks, so we're starting on this uh, new build based upon some of the things we've learned from the practice build or the test plane. So um, I've just printed all the 3D parts. I printed the, the GoPro um, 6 mount, um, the actual bottom support for the front of the nose, um, the um, actual cover for the uh, RX and the, uh, the Nano Crossfire Nano uh, mounting plate, uh, my GPS plate, and the new motor mount. So they're the parts that I've 3D printed so far. I am going to do a, an FC cover, but I'm putting a switch into it, so I'm going to modify that, uh, that design. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously cut the old elevons off. So I've um, got an X-Acto knife and uh, use a brand new blade always if you're going to do like cuts that need to be really precise. So let's have a go at taking this off and then uh, we'll be ready to start thinking about making the bolts of elevons using these as templates, obviously. Okay, so we're ready to carefully cut this elevon off. Uh, I found the best way of doing it is to actually press the edge of the um, X-Acto blade against the actual flat part of the wing and then just use that as a guide to uh, just keep pressing gently against the wing. So it won't cut into the wing, but it will actually give you the cleanest cut you can possibly get before you just sand it down. So just pushing that blade into there and you see that's come off absolutely beautifully and there's absolutely minimal sanding to do now on this edge to take that little burr off there. So yeah, that's now ready for us to use this as a template on the bolter um, to be able to uh, replace it. Okay, so let's move on to that. Okay, while the wife is out, I can use the kitchen to do some sanding of my wings. So I've got two grades of uh, wet and dry paper, I've got uh, 600 and 300. So I'm going to start with the 300 and this is basically just to get all these mould marks off because when you laminate they tend to be little ridges that stop the laminate from sticking and they also show through the laminate. Um, and also to rough the surface up so that you get a better key with the laminate or the adhesive in the laminate and also take these edges off on the leading edges and also these edges where you've cut the elevons off and get them nice and flat so you get a really tight fit with your new elevons. I'm also going to attempt to laminate the hatches. Um, don't know how well it'll work, but I'm going to give that a go as well. So I've got some hot soapy water in the sink, which I'm going to use. Then I'm just going to rub these over and let them dry overnight. And then I'm going to uh, install the uh, servos and the uh, crossfire, and then I'm going to laminate them. Okay, let's do that. And, and do this edge so that you, you, basically the line where the elevon was, where you cut it with the, the blade, just starts to disappear. Um, you can see here it's just visible, just slightly more. <clears throat> Keep everything nice and flat and just gently take those lines off. So you get a nice, really flat edge so that you do the same on your Elevon, a nice flat edge. You're going to get no gap. And that's going to work a lot better and be a lot neater. So you can see now. The line is, well, I cannot feel that line now. You can still see it, but you cannot feel it. So that's flat enough. Okay, so I've made my life quite a bit easier, actually. I've actually found some bolts of stock that is closer to the size of the original Elevon. So this bolts of stock, it's, um, it's, it's 10 mil at its widest point, And the, um, the stock AR Pro Elevon is about 8 mil at its widest point. And this is... Um, 50 mil deep and the stock elevon is about 45 mil deep so i'm going to shave just five millimeters off the widest end that will reduce the uh, the width to let's have a look at about five mil off we're looking at not five mil about nine and a half nine to nine and a half mil um, so that's the, the best option, I think, is to just slice off the, the, the widest end and work from there to make the elevon. So really pleased I found this. I will put a link to where I got this from in the description. So if you're in the UK, I'm, I'm not sure if they ship internationally, but you'll be able to order it if you want to make some AR Pro elevons. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually um, clamped down onto the bench um, a piece of the, um, two, well, actually two pieces of the, the actual stock. So one is resting on top of another in like a concertina effect so that when I cut the, um, the actual end off, it's actually level because obviously if you put this on the bench because it's angled, then you're going to be cutting it at an angle. So 
Yeah, I've put it on the bench. There's a couple of photos I'll pop up there, close-ups so you can see. And then um, two clamps, got myself a nice metal straight edge off Amazon, very handy actually. Surprised they didn't get one before. And now I'm just going to use the Stanley knife and cut, brand new blade, brand new craft blade. Just going to cut along this edge here. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few runs. So I'm going to try and keep the, the actual knife blade at completely right angles to get the straightest cut possible. So I'm just going to start at one end and just run a score. Don't try and cut through the whole thing in one run. Keep the craft knife blade pushed tightly against the, uh, the metal edge. of the. And just take another cut. Just let the knife do the work. And then the third one, it should be through. It just pops. Okay. And then we should just be able to just pull that off. Really nice, smooth cut. Minimum amount of trimming along this edge uh, to make it absolutely square. So yeah, now we can uh, draw around the elevons and um, <coughs> cut them off. We'll do that next. Okay, so now we've cut them. If we put the the foam elevon and the bolts will have on side by side and hold them upright you can see that the actual width is perfect here so slight maybe slightly longer on the bolts uh, that gives you the opportunity just to really smooth that edge down to make it completely flat so then all you have to do then is just have to get the elevon um, what i like to do is put the, uh, the straight edge up against the front of the elevon and press the two together to make sure that you're actually getting those aligned like that and then simply just draw around with a pencil two marks and um, here's one I did earlier so um, I've got the uh, the trusty Japanese bolts saw get all the right tools for these jobs it's amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut these slightly bigger than the line that I've drawn. That's because when I'm shaping it with the sandpaper, I want to give myself a little bit of a margin for error to make sure I get it really smooth. So maybe just two or three millimeters more. And then with the Japanese uh, bolts or saw, this is uh, simplicity itself. Beautiful. That's one cut. And then the other side, another three or four mil bigger. Okay, like that. I'll uh, trim this one as well. And we can offer it up to the plane and see what it actually looks like. On this side. Okay. So that, that gives me some room for trimming this down and shaping the end. So if we just get the, uh, the plane now. Okay, so um, you can see that that is actually quite tight. The AR Pro has got a bit of a gap, so I've got the ability now just to, to shape it perfectly. And uh, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. So yeah, this is a much better way. And if I put my finger and thumb on there, it's almost the same width. So obviously, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the plane now along the edge of here just to shape it. That will allow the elevon to obviously move up and down without it getting caught. So uh, all we're going to do there is just take the plane and we're just going to take off one little tiny little edge off the corner at 45 degrees on both sides. So I'll just run that across now just to show how I do one. So it's a minimal amount coming off with the plane. Just need two or three runs and that gives you a really nice chamfer on one side and then that allows the elevon obviously to uh, to move down without it catching so yeah I'm going to do the top and bottom with the plane and then um, once I've got that nice profile just sandpaper it down so that we get a similar kind of profile to the original AR Pro okay let's do that Okay, so I've, uh, I've chamfered both sides of the 
Elevon with the, uh, with the plane very carefully, just taking off the edges. And then I'm using 240 grit sandpaper just to A, finish off the flat edge to make it absolutely flat. And what I do is I put it on the, on the actual desk or on top of the, uh, the, the steel rule um, and then look at it underneath and make sure it's completely flat with no gaps. Honestly, if I'm cutting the knife with the, um, the straight edge, there was minimal sanding. Um, and then just, uh, just sanding the corners to round the corners off so that we get uh, the, the same kind of profile. Now, um, you can probably see here that uh, they're exactly the same height, but um, the profile, I've got them almost identical. In fact, the foam one is inferior to mine because obviously I've made mine by hand and it's quite precise. So yeah, there's the, uh, the two profiles side by side. And then when you offer it up to the plane, um, because you've got that chamfer on there and you've got a perfect straight flat edge here in which you can draw a center line down and you can put your CA hinges in. Um, I've shown and talked about CA hinges in another video earlier in this series, so I'll put a link in that um, below. So if you want to go and see the CA hinge part, then feel free. But then um, you can offer this up to the plane. I've obviously trimmed the edges as well to get the same gap as the stock plane. I'm not sure if that's necessary or whether I could make them a bit tighter, but I've gone for how it was when it was stock, exactly the same gap each side. And then we've got you know a really tight to the edge, which is all flat and you know perfect movement. Um, so yet yeah, now you can just simply sand these down with some really fine sandpaper, maybe, I don't know, 600, uh, and then prime them and paint them or hydro dip them as I might do with these. Um, or even coat them in glass fiber if you really want strong ones or coat them in carbon fiber with resin You know the world's your oyster now, but even just as they are just painted, you know, they're uh, they're a million times better than Than, than these things, you know, so, you know, we've, we haven't got this floppy Anymore, I know it hasn't got the carbon in but even without that, you know, these are pretty rubbish really So yeah, that's uh, how to make AR Pro Elevons, uh, so how I make them anyway and uh, it will make a big difference to your plane, so have a go.